Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today we're taking a look at a very affordable option and a Casio watch. This is the Casio World Time. If you want the huge reference number, here it is. This is the AE1200WHD1A, the stainless steel variation. There also is one that comes on a rubber band as well. Uh, but this watch is $26 and it is available on Amazon. I will drop a link in the description below. And let's see what I'm wearing today. Today I am wearing the OP1 Flieger, as you can see. It's an automatic Flieger watch with a black matte dial. Uh, I believe this one is $250. I have it strapped on a Barton's Elite Band in white to match the white print on the dial and all of the markings, as you can see. Very slim watch, about 9 millimeters, 40 millimeters in diameter, and $250 with the Miyota 90S5, which is basically the dateless version of the 9015. So 250 shipped worldwide. I think it's a great deal. Sapphire on both sides. Pretty cool watch. But let's get back to the watch today. In terms of actual dimensions, we're looking at a nice 40 millimeter case size. In terms of case thickness, we're looking at 12.5 millimeters. Now, if you think about the lug to lug distance, if you really want to do that, it is kind of a square case. We're looking at 45 millimeters lug to lug, 18 millimeter lug widths here. And we do have with the pushers, if you measure pusher end to pusher end, 44 millimeters. So pretty reasonable size for a Casio. Most G-Shocks are really big, uh, but this one's not too big. It wears quite nice on my 6.5 inch wrist. Now there are two variations, like I stated. The other one comes on a rubber band. This is the stainless steel version. So you do get a nice stainless steel bracelet here, uh, which is not of the highest quality, but what can you really expect for $25? American. But um, the crystal itself is actually plastic, so no sapphire, mineral hardened, mineral K1, none of that. Just a straight piece of plastic. Now, we do get a 100 meters water resistance on this case. There are no screw down anything. It's a completely digital watch, but you do get 100 meters, along with a 10-year battery life, which is pretty long. So, As well as the stainless steel case back and the stainless steel bracelet. Everything is uh, pretty solid on this model. Now in terms of actual functions, these watches kind of look confusing if you've never looked at one before. But they're quite simple if I get you in a little closer. As you can see on the top right, that is the world map and it states what time zone you're in over here. So here I'm in 1015 New York. As you can see, I am in the northern uh, <laughs> North America. As you can see there, it kind of lights up there. You can see that over here is your home time as well. This is your home time basically, and as you can see it's ticking around there, and a hour and minutes hand, a 60 track on the outside. Down here, you do get all of your functions, which will be displayed here Saturday, 3.23, 10.15 p.m. Now to actual scroll th actually scroll through the times, we're going to use this mode button. As you can see, world time, alarms. I believe this watch does have five or six alarms, yep, a stopwatch. And world time, alarm, timer, it's a countdown timer, stopwatch, and then your time which you set there, which can be changed. You can see Rio, London, Paris, and New York City. Those are the four I've listed right there, and there's a whole bunch of others you can scroll through. Now this is your adjust button, so obviously you're going to want to hold this one down to adjust over here. And then you do get a, a slight loom, I guess. It's just a light that lights up. It doesn't stay lit when you hold it, so you push it. As you can see, it lights up, which is not too bad. It does work at night, but it doesn't stay lit the longer you push it. Now, the case itself, it feels like a kind of polymer plastic. It kind of feels like that. I'm pretty sure it is. As you can see, world time here, illuminator here, 10-year battery here, five alarms here, water-resistant 100 meters. Quite a simple watch. Now, getting to the bracelet, so you can see it comes with a nice Casio signed clasp, two button deployant, just a run of the mill stamped clasp, nothing special. But the nice thing is there are four micro adjustments. Now to adjust this one, it is using the collar or the sleeves. So you basically push these out, they pop out, you can remove it, then you push another one out, you can remove a link. Very easy to do, you can do it with a spring bar remover. That's the way I did it. You don't even need really any tools but a spring bar remover. So yeah, uh, the bracelet itself is not the greatest quality, but I will say it does not, it doesn't really pull your hair. It's not really uncomfortable, which is kind of odd. I thought it would be a horrible bracelet. And a nice little thing, we do get a Casio stainless steel case back held down by four screws as well, uh, which is not that bad. 
Now let's see how this bad boy looks on my 6.5 inch wrist. And there she is on my 6.5 inch wrist. So it basically fits perfectly. It's basically a square and it's actually pretty comfortable. This is one of those watches that you kind of forget you're wearing. As you can see, I removed one link from each side and the micro adjustment is on the third hole. And that's for my 6.5 inch wrist. About 6.6 .6 actually. But uh, it's definitely comfortable. Uh, definitely, you know, it can be worn actively in the shower and the water. And it's only $26. So yeah, you know, I really don't have much to complain about for the $26 price point. I think you're getting a lot of watch for the money here. And it is kind of iconic with James Bond in a way, if you know that story. But I'm not really going to get into that whole thing here. But yeah, definitely a useful world time watch if you're traveling, you're on vacation, you want something cheap to throw in your bag. Definitely gets the job done. It's comfortable. It's a very popular watch as well. And that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Let me know what you guys think of this watch down in the comment section below. Many of you probably own this watch. It's a very popular watch. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will drop a link to purchase one of these if you want down in the description below. As well as a link to purchase one of the Oceanica Fliegers, which is a pretty uh, decent watch for the coin. Definitely a nice looking watch there. So this is Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Let me know what you guys think. Definitely subscribe. Check me out. WatchAddictChannel.com at WatchAddictChannel on Instagram. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.